stained image of a man with crucifixion wounds. Scientists used a volunteer and a mannequin and techniques such as blood pattern analysis, BPA, to compare the way blood would be flowing after the injuries to those apparently sustained by the cloth's figure. These included wounds to the left hand, forearms, blood stains on the weight and an injury to the side which the Bible suggests was caused by a lance. A tiny tube was inserted into the helper's wrist to replicate the effect of a crucifixion nail and a mannequin was used for the side lance wound. Experts concluded the cloth is most likely a medieval forgery because the direction and behavior of the rivulets of blood did not match those in the photographs. The results further the mystery of the cloth, which was first recorded in 1390 when a bishop Pierre d'Arcis wrote that it was a fake and an artist had confessed. Carbon dating tests in 1988 by universities in the U.S., the UK and Switzerland placed the cloth in a period between 1260 and 1390, when the artist is said to have owned up. When the volunteer was in, various reclining positions, the blood movement never matched the shroud, said the study. Assuming that the red stains on the Turin linen are actually blood from the crucifixion wounds, the results of the experiments demonstrate that the alleged flowing patterns from different areas of the body are not consistent with each other. Life Science reports the blood of the left hand of the shroud is only consistent with a person standing with their arms at a 45-degree angle, while the forearm's blood stains on the shroud match a person standing with their arms held nearly vertically. Study lead author Matteo Borini, a forensic anthropologist at Liverpool's John Moores University, told Life Science, you realize these cannot be real blood stains from a person who was crucified and then put into a grave, but actually handmade by the artist that created the shroud. If you look at the blood stains as a whole, just as you would when working at a crime scene, you realize they contradict each other. That points to the artificial origin of these stains. The Shroud of Turin is kept in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist Turin. The Bible says Jesus was horrendously tortured around 2,000 years ago before being nailed to a cross by the Roman Empire. A foot of a person crucified found in Rome, Italy, recently confirmed the cruel punishment existed around the time of Jesus Christ. The Shroud of Turin measures around 3 meters by 1 meter and contains a faintly stained image of a man. It has been claimed for centuries by Christians as the burial shroud of Jesus and numerous scientific studies have been undertaken to work out if it is real.